now we have this screen that shows the difference between the two printers. The target delta E is a 3 or less. And I know that these numbers look bad, but they're not really too far off. Again, it's not, there's no emulation taking place yet. And we also have different ways to measure the delta E to have improved results. But for right now, we're going to stick with the raw delta E. So the next step is to output a target that has the emulation on. So we'll click Next. You would print the target as you would before. And then read it in. So we'll save and name this information. And then hit finish. And now it's creating the emulation profile. Then just click OK, and it brings us to this window. So at this point, you have the option of finishing up the profile, or you can run a test chart and compare that and see how well the emulation works. So to do that, again, click Chart Print, and you would output the target, and then read it in. Right, and as we've done in the past, we'll go ahead and save this information as well. Okay, so this shows us the results. This is what the, uh, the Delta E's of the Mamaki printer emulating the legacy printer. So as we can see here, all of our Delta E's are well under three. Uh, you can refine this using the feedback. So you can either click next and uh, create your emulation profile, or we can do this again and try to refine the results. We'll go ahead and click Next, and we'll have to give it a name. And then inside here is where you can put different comments. So you could put your resolution, or maybe the date, whatever information that you want on here. Okay. And then it's going to want to know where do you want to save this. So we're going to go ahead and save it into this folder. And now when you look inside here, we have a folder. And inside that folder is our emulation profile and our source profile. So the next step is to go ahead and bring that into RasterLink. In order to get these profiles into RasterLink, 
will have to use Profile Manager. So inside here, we'll bring in the device profile or the emulation profile. Okay. And then we also have to remember to bring in our source, what we're trying to, our target profile. So inside of that same folder, select the ICM, click OK. Now we're launch raster link. Okay, so we'll go to the printer. Alright, so in order to be able to print using that emulation profile, we have to go into the quality tab. And inside here, the type, emulation, there's where our emulation profile is. And then we need to Grab the source profile, which is right there, and now we're ready to print. And that's how to use the emulation tool.